The latest jobs report for South Korea has been released. It's a mixed bag with some glints of optimism, not to mention serious causes for concern. Our Hwang Woo-jun highlights what the Moon administration is up against in terms of employment issues. On Tuesday, aside from filing key posts, President Moon Jae-in ordered the establishment of a presidential committee on job creation as his first order of business as president. The committee, which will oversee the creation of 810,000 public sector jobs, was pledged by President Moon during his campaign and will be chaired by the president himself. Just a day later, new data from Statistics Korea on April's employment figures was released as if to prove the new administration's concerns are well justified. According to the report, the number of people in Korea's workforce last month came in at slightly under 26.6 million. That's up 424,000 from the same period a year ago. The employment rate for last month rose half a percentage point on-year to 60.8 percent. The construction industry saw the biggest increase with over 160,000 new jobs, followed by the educational services, real estate and rental services, and wholesale and retail services. However, it's too early to conclude the labor market is stabilizing. The manufacturing sector hired 4.4 million people last month, a decrease of 62,000 from last year, extending their losing streak to 10 months. Also, the unemployment rate for last month stood at 4.2 percent, up 0.3 percentage point from the same month last year. Moreover, April's unemployment rate for young people, aged between 15 and 29, reached 11.2 percent, the highest tally for April since 1999. So with the new presidential committee, and as the president previously pledged a possible draft of a revised supplementary budget aimed at creating jobs, the new administration's efforts are attracting attention, with the nation hoping they bear fruit. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News.